check out my latest anime music video with Masamune Kun no Revenge with the song You Suck at Love by Simple Plan. Check it out by clicking that featured video at a minute and 30 second mark or towards the end of the video, click that end screen annotation and have a nice day. Stop in at our maid cafe. We'd be ever so pleased to serve you. Come, come. Master, master, master. Let us serve you, master. Always the same line. Doesn't it just give you gestotts of all? Gesundheit. Personally, I like it. It just feels very Akiba to me. But they throw around the word master like it doesn't mean anything. Show some dignity, girls. Show some reverence. These fake maids are such a far cry from you, Shino. How would you prefer they act? Do you want them to stop calling out to people on the street? No, it's not that. I just hate the whole, I want to be a maid because they're cute mindset. That's not a true maid. Okay, how do you think they should act then to make their maiddom more authentic? Hmm, well, for starters, they need to convey a lot more love and adulation when addressing their masters. Interesting. Can you give me an example? Uh, okay. This ought to be good. Wait, you're just trying to get me to say something embarrassing, aren't you? Heaven forfend. I'm just keeping the conversation flowing. <laughs> you are incorrigible. You are just like those maids. I want to be a neat because I don't have to work. Hey, I'm a neat because I like it. Exactly. You're a bandwagoner. You think it's counterculture and cool to be a neat. No thought went into it. Uh, whatever you say, Ko. You know, though, while we're on the subject, don't you think your own way of speaking could use some adjustment? Not at all. But you're a distinguished daughter of the Sonata family, right? So shouldn't you speak more like a proper lady? Ugh, no. That's exactly what someone wanting to be like all the other distinguished daughters would do. Okay, so explain to me how your current mannerisms are an appropriate alternative, then. I don't have to, because there's no problem with the way I am. Hey, at least try out a couple different speech styles. Couldn't hurt, right? How about, you dingus? Uncouth and idiotic. Yeah. Ouch. Sorry, Pinkoon. I'm serious, Pinkoon. Why do you always say, and dingus and all that? It makes you sound like a damned fool. Come on, that's just the way I talk. It's Pinkoon style, baby. Really? That's all there is to it? I always just thought you were trying to sound cute. <laughs> all right, I have a new quest for us, Ko. A challenge, if you will. We're going to talk to a bunch of different people and see if we can't find a new speech style that suits you better. But why? I'm me, and me suits me just fine. Oh, this just sounds like a waste of effort. Oh, I can think of at least one good reason. Which is? How about, so you stop driving metaphorical daggers into my heart with every word you say to me? Oh, would you prefer real ones? Look, I'm officially filing this as a quest, so let's just do it. Let's get out there and listen to people talk. Oh no, you are not getting the last word on me. Try a little chat chat, Co. Hey, wait up! Wait up? After asking me to mew like a kitten? Do you even hear yourself? 
All right, all right, I get it. But I mean, just give it one shot. Just one sentence. I'll never ask you to do it again after that. Hey, Ko, yo! Darn window shoppers. Try stopping in if you're gonna pause in front of my establishment. Yeah. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Where the light shines, so too doth darkness dwell. Tis the nature of the universe from creation, for perpetuity. Darkness dwells. Oh, of course. You're into darkness, right? This is perfect. What dost thou seek in the darkened depths? A warm rest? A cool awakening? More like the opposite. A warm awakening and some cool sleep. Uh, what? I mean, it's been so cold and bitter in the mornings, right? Yet by the time night falls, it's sweltering. If that be thy response, then for both shalt I wish upon the stars above. Oh, please do. I'd appreciate it. She hasn't even noticed his speech style. She's just having a normal conversation with him. Unbelievable. Business in the delusion scape? Please be well prepared. Hey, how's it going? Well, if it isn't Master Asahi, something I can help you with? Oh, no, we're just here on a quest of sorts. I'm trying to introduce Katomi here to some new speech styles. So, Ko, when Nana here gets startled, she... Uh, she's real, I swear she is. Guess she up and left you, huh? Hey, Ko! Jeez, Ko, hold your horses. Seriously, why not try talking like Nana? It's subtle, easy to adapt to. No, 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 not on your life. I'll kill you. Ah! <sighs> it's hopeless. Blunt and mean is all you know. I told you right from the start, every other speech style is the worst! Particularly that perfy pink puffs. Yeah? Are styles like that supposed to add character or something? It's stupid. It just attaches you to an archetype. Well, I don't know. I feel like your style of speech pretty well attaches you to an archetype, too. I'm not an archetype! I beg to differ. But either way, if not for archetype classification, then why do you talk the way you do? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Not even once. The mistress can't help but speak the way she does. It's simply who she is. Yoshino? Hey, Yoshino. Quick question. Has Ko always been like this? She has indeed. Do you think maybe, just maybe, it's because you've been spoiling... Asahi? You wouldn't by any chance be complaining about me to my maid, would you? Oh, no. Perish the thought. Oh, my. Jeez, Yoshino, don't laugh. My apologies. It's just that, as I said, the mistress is who she is. And this exchange between you two only proves it. What do you mean? Allow your mind to wander for a moment. Imagine what it would be like if... Well... Master, I am at your beck and call. Whatever you wish, it will be my command. <laughs> I am Master Katomi, the cold-hearted poisonous doll, unequaled in this world, and you are a dingus! Yeah? Something to matter? Perhaps you'd like to be cured limb from limb! Now that you mention it, those are all simply terrible ideas. Oh my, yes. You finally understand. 
What the heck are you two talking about? Sorry about all this, Ko. I was wrong to try and change you. You're fine just the way you are. Huh? 